Hello viewers, welcome back. In our today's video, we will discuss about the electric power quality in the AC systems. The issue of power quality has become important over the years due to several reasons, such as widespread use of electrical equipment which is sensitive to voltage disturbance or itself creates such disturbances. Poor power quality results in premature aging of the electrical equipment, which results in serious economic losses and can even cause threat to human life in sensitive environments such as hospitals. On the other hand, good power quality brings economic saving to the end user by avoiding damage to the installed equipment and saves production loss in the industrial environment. We will start our discussion by trying to establish difference between the power outage and the power quality. Then we will study different phenomena related to the supply voltage which results in poor power quality in the power system. In the second part of the video, we will see the impact of poor power quality on the end user equipment. Hope that you are going to enjoy our discussion. A power outage or power failure is simply the loss of electrical supply to the end users. There can be several reasons for power outage in the electrical network, such as any kind of fault in the power generating stations or in power transmission and distribution system or any damage to the power transmission and distribution lines due to different reasons or malfunctioning of the protection equipment or maloperation of the circuit breakers. On the other hand, power quality is the measure of closeness of electrical waveform with the specification established by the regulatory bodies or simply we can say that it is the measure of the ability of the power grid to provide clean and stable power supply to the end users. In an ideal environment, end user is supposed to receive pure sine wave from an electrical network. However, in our today's environment, due to the presence of non-linear load and certain linear load, the waveform loses the shape of pure sine wave and causes the power quality problems. In our daily life, we can notice the poor quality of the power supply through different symptoms like fluctuating lights, premature failure and maloperation of the electrical equipment failure of the capacitor banks, loss of data in the electronic equipment, and etc. Under the definition of measurement of power quality, we can refer to a wide variety of phenomena that characterizes the voltage and current at a given time and at a given location in the power system. These phenomena can be waveform distortion due to the presence of harmonics and noise, power frequency variation which is directly related to the speed of the generators, any transient in the power system such as due to lightning effect or it can also be different short and long duration effects of supplied voltage. Our today's discussion is focused on quality of the voltage waveform. Good power quality is considered as a steady state supply that stays within the prescribed range as defined by the regulatory bodies or simply we can say that it is a compatibility between the power source and the load. One standard that prescribes these ranges is IEEE standard 1159, Recommended Practices for Monitoring Electrical Power Quality. As per IEEE standard 1159, we can characterize the voltage dependent variations in the waveform as short duration and long duration. Variations from 0.5 cycle to 1 minute are considered as short duration variations. And variations which last more than one minute are considered as long duration variations. Further, short duration variations can either be instantaneous, momentary and temporary based on the duration as defined in the graph here. First we will discuss the short duration variations in the voltage waveform. Voltage swell is the increase in RMS voltage at the power frequency for duration from 0.5 cycle to 1 minute. Typical magnitude of the voltage swell ranges from 110% to 180% of the nominal voltage. Voltage sag or voltage dip is the decrease in RMS voltage at the power frequency for duration from 0.5 cycle to 1 minute. Typical magnitude of voltage sag ranges from 90% to 10% of the nominal voltage. Voltage flicker or voltage fluctuation which is limited to lightning applications and is mostly considered as a nuisance. This effect is produced due to systematic variation in the voltage waveform. 
As per IEEE standard, any variation in the voltage magnitude, which is less than 7% of the nominal voltage, have little effect on other types of consumer loads. Now we will discuss about the long duration variations. Over voltage is a long duration variation which lasts more than 1 minute and have a magnitude of 110 to 120% of the nominal voltage. Under voltage is a long duration variation which lasts more than 1 minute and have a magnitude of 90 to 80% of the nominal voltage. An interruption is a complete loss of voltage or the magnitude of the supply voltage drops below 10% of the nominal voltage. If the interruption is less than 1 minute, then it is considered as a momentary or temporary interruption. However, if the interruption lasts more than 1 minute, then it will be considered as a sustained interruption. Now we will discuss about the causes which create these short duration and long duration variations in the power system. We will also discuss about the effects or consequences of these variations in the power system. Use of equipment such as large arc furnace or welding machines produces fluctuation in the power supply. As discussed earlier, the effect of voltage flicker or voltage fluctuation is the variation in the light output which impair our vision and causes general discomfort. Voltage swell are generally caused by the fault in the power system. A single line to ground fault resulted in a temporary voltage rise in the unfaulted phases. Swell can also be caused due to switching off a large load or switching on a capacitor bank. Effect of voltage swell on the consumer load largely depends on the frequency of occurrence. Electronic equipment such as computers, electronic controllers, VFDs, etc may get failed due to this phenomena. Voltage swell can reduce the life of the electrical devices such as transformers, cables, capacitor banks and electrical motors. Voltage sags are produced by a short circuit fault in the power system. These are also produced due to switching off heavy loads or starting off large motors. Voltage sags are dangerous in power system as process controllers can initiate the shutdown sequence due to voltage sags. Magnetic contactors used in different control schemes can get de-energized due to voltage sags. Motor may experience slight change in speed due to voltage sags. Over voltage is commonly due to switching off a large load or switching on a capacitor bank. Over voltage can cause severe damages in the power system such as failure of electronic devices. Sustained over voltage drastically reduces the life of electrical equipment such as transformers, cables, capacitor banks and electrical motors. E events causing under voltage are simply reverse of the events which causes the over voltage in the power system. Further, overloaded circuits or feeders can get suffered from under voltage. Long duration under voltage increases heating loss in the electrical equipment. Motor controllers also drop out during ultra voltage condition. So this is the end of our today's video. I hope it will help you to develop the understanding about the topic. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please give suggestions for improvement in the comments box. Please also let me know if you need information about any other topic. I will try to cover it in my next vlogs. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get updates about the latest videos. Thank you.